croissants. Hi, my name is Oshin Healy. I'm from the Art School here of Voltig in Bandon, County Cork. Our Young Scientist project is concussions and no-brainer. It's based on concussion injuries suffered in sport, the effect, the short-term effects, the long-term effects, how you can prevent them, and how to deal with a concussion if one occurs. Our project brought us many different journeys, including interviewing NFL teams in the United States, Canadian hockey teams, rugby, rugby. Uh, rugby professionals and also GA players. The, the GA players that we interviewed stated that there are no match doctors at any games, only at big league matches and even the, the one player that we interviewed that suffered concussion stated that you know, even though this concussion happened over 15 years ago, the methods in place still haven't changed. The GA has done very little to change these and if the, our interviews have showed us that even if there are any, even if there are any precautions in place, they are very poorly enforced, if enforced at all. Project sleep patterns, how they affect active performance, and how how many hours of sleep will affect how you perform in school and during class and stuff. So um, what we did is we got ten people and split them into two groups of five. Uh, one was a good group, one was a bad group. The bad group could go to sleep whenever they want, as long as after ten o'clock. They could eat whatever they want before they go to bed, they could do anything they want. And then the good group had to go to bed before half before or about half past nine. Um, and they couldn't eat anything caffeine related before they went to bed. And all technology had to be removed from their rooms. And each morning they recorded it in a sleep diary. Your advice be? Um, get at least eight and a half hours sleep each night before sleep at night. Uh, don't drink anything caffeinated. My project is about what influences the little person's political opinions. So I set about doing uh, how to figure this out by a method of a survey and then cross referencing those results from that survey uh, with the opinions of various politicians. My survey uh, was sent to me from all over the UK, so I got a large number of responses back. of their views implanted into their children. So you inherit half of your views from your parents and then you create your own. And uh, that's the modern version of it. And of course, uh, modern media such as Facebook and Twitter on the internet, they're all very important now. They're the most dominant feature that uh, convinces someone of social media. Yeah, with social media. Interestingly, advertisements such as statements that a politician might hand out, they're actually far more effective for young people than they are for their parents.